Todd Celeste. <laughs> okay, one minute. Wow. wow. <laughs> I'm doing my best. <laughs> Hello everyone, Aaron once again. Welcome back to another episode of The Office Chef. Now, I used to be an ex-hotel chef for the past 14 years and now I'm a full-time food content writer for chefly.com. So for today, we are doing Gimbap. It's a very popular street food in Korea. So today we have with us convenience store bought Gimbap from a Korean convenience store, a takeout Gimbap from a Korean restaurant in Singapore. And for the last one, I will attempt to make my own Gimbap and see which version our colleagues will like better. So for the convenience store gimbap, very very classic gimbap, crab steak, radish, ham, egg, carrot, cucumber, and it's for six nine six eighty. Right. Then for this one, only gimbap. This is very good uh, I've had it before. This is their khani gimbap. Very 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 loaded guys. Very very loaded. So only gimbap is run by a Singaporean with his Korean wife who hand makes the gimbaps daily. She lays out a seaweed sheet. Then she will put on marinated rice. She will pile on the ingredients like the egg, crab stick marinated with mayonnaise, carrot, spinach, pickles and cucumber. Then she will roast them with a hand roller. And after that, they have a special machine to cut them all into equal sizes. Very, very cool. So for my handmade gimbap, I will peel the carrot and cut them into shreds. Then I will season them with salt and I will let it rest so that it can draw the water. I also have local spinach, which I will blanch with hot water. So basically, spinach cooks very fast, so just blanch them like within a one minute should be fine. I can just take it out and soak it in ice water. I'll just let it sit for a while, let it cool down. Then I will start to cut the cucumber into strips as well. So basically, what you want to do is just to cut the sides, leaving out the seeds in the centre and the pickled radish. Let's get back to our spinach. I'm going to squeeze the water dry first. Okay, I'll just put it aside. Our carrot, squeeze the water dry first. You can just add them together to your vegetable plate. For the crab steak, these are frozen snow crab legs that I'm going to shred. I'm going to attempt to make the crab steak salad more flavorful by adding toasted sesame seeds to it. I will keep some to put it on the rice as well later. Some salt and pepper, and finally some mayonnaise. So this is my favorite mustard mayonnaise from Donkey. It's a Kewpie brand, you can check it out. I will also do an omelette using fresh eggs and I will make them into an egg roll. I'll start to fold it when the egg is halfway done. Small folds like that. Like while waiting for the egg to cool down, let's start to prepare the rice. Cooked Japanese rice, which I will season with some sesame oil. For me, I love I sesame love oil, so I'll add more to it. Now. And add some toasted sesame seeds in. Now the egg roll should have cooled down, so now I will attempt to cut the egg roll. So just before rolling, there's a shiny part and a dull part to the seaweed sheet. So always make the shiny part the outside of the gimbap. Thin layer of marinated rice. After that, I will put in the vegetable strips and the egg and the crab. I'll start to roll it. When the mat has covered the ingredients, start to pull your fingers towards you so that you will make it tight. So once it's okay, continue to roll some more. Try to squeeze it so that you can close the gap. So once it has formed into shape, I will brush it again with a thin layer of sesame oil again before cutting them into equal slices. So for today's gimbap tasting, we have with us Rachel and Celeste. So today we're going to blindfold them because technically me and Rachel have been to only gimbap before and obviously once she sees the gimbap, she will know that it's from only gimbap. So we're going to blindfold them. Try to sleep. Oh wow, it really blocks out everything, sir. I can just in your mouth. Lah. <laughs> Top Celeste. <laughs> okay, one minute. Wow. wow. <laughs> Very refreshing in this one. A lot of crunch, a lot of like the so is it? Mm. You, Chris? Celeste? She's still chewing. Yeah, hold on. Wow. Yeah, a lot of the gimbap I usually have like the it's like less rice, but this one has a lot more. Rachel? Hmm, I don't really like this one. You don't really like? I don't know, I feel like the flavour is a bit more bland. So that should take a faster time because it's thinner, right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. It's gonna taste more like sushi. Like, oh. it's like, yeah, it's sweeter. I think, like, um, gimbap is usually a bit more savoury. Okay, so let's have you first. So she can choose first. Alright, this one. Is it tuna? <laughs> I like it. It's like quite a mouthful of ingredients inside. Okay. And like very juicy. Okay, we're all in silence. I'm doing my best! 
I like this. Fillings feel like there's more. Mm. I think this is the handmade one. I think mm. the first one is the store bought, mm. then the middle one was the convenience store. I think the first one is the handmade one, second one is the store one, the convenience store one, then the last one is the restaurant. Hello. Convenience store. The convenience store one, right? Yeah. Very obvious. Actually, that one looks like you would have made it. Yeah. yeah, you nearly got it right. Yeah, mine was the, the first one. Okay. And the store bought one was the last one that you tried. So you also like the last one. The best. Yeah, but I think if yours had less rice and more fillings, mm -hmm. it's very comparable. Yeah. Looks like I managed to do my gimbap pretty well because the first time I really failed, you can ask Aichel. I did it in a cooking school <laughs> and failed everything for out. Yeah. Three tries to roll the things. Yeah. So technically I spent like $32 on groceries and I can make about four to five rolls. So that's about $6 per roll, so why not try and make the gimbap yourself at home and tell me how does it taste. So remember to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you for the next episode. Take care, bye bye. I'm very hungry, I never eat lunch. I got a lot of gimbap, I need to make a new one. Yay!